All right, so uh, we are going to be talking about how to upgrade your RS Nav. Um, I've got an S3 RS Nav here. I've had it for a couple of months. Um, I am running into a problem where the time, the system time, will not sit no matter what I do. Um, so every time I restart it, it comes up with, oh, it's giving me trouble now, probably because of that reason. Um, excuse me, wrong clicking. Uh, every time I restart it, it goes back and gives me this bogus date, and I have to go in here and reset it. Um, even if I try using network provided time, it does the same thing. Uh, it turns out this is a bug that Daniel and the team have fixed, um, so I'm going to have to upgrade it. Now, upgrading it's pretty simple. The first thing you need is a USB. You download the stuff from the wiki. It's on the wiki. You unzip it as described onto a USB. It has to be formatted FAT32, if I remember correctly. And then the USB goes into one of the USB slots. Now, for me, I've got those USB slots fished down to my footwell, so it's going to be impossible for you to see me do this. By the way, I apologize. I did just get a head-mounted cam. I try not to move my head all the whole time while I'm doing this. But anyways, uh, I do tend to be a little bit of a head and hand talker. Um, so I apologize in advance. But the first thing I'm going to do is get this plugged in down there. And then once I do, it's a pretty easy update. I have done one of these before. Um, so it's pretty simple. I need to open my door just to get in there. So excuse the beeping. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but I basically just plugged it into the USB down there. Um, the minute it does, it sets that. It senses this. Um, I do not want to do this. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to settings. And I'm gonna go to system. And I'm gonna go to version information. And I'm gonna say USB update. You ready to start the update? I am. You want to make sure you don't keep multiple updates on the same USB it will cause a problem so it only should be one there at a time so right now it's verifying my file hopefully that all checks out well all right so it verified everything now it's starting the system update it is going to restart at least once um, I have seen times it restarts more than once I don't know exactly how many restarts are in this particular patch, so I'm going to give it time. You definitely want to make sure your car is on and running for this. I think the wiki tells you the same thing, um, that you have gas. It doesn't take too long, but you don't want to run out of power right now. All right, now it's actually installing the system update. That's a good sign. This looks like the final restart. Excellent. All right, now this has come back up. We'll go away once I pull that out. So interestingly enough, a um, couple of great things, and I'll, I'll test the time in a second, but immediately I see a few things that were supposed to be fixed here that seem to be working perfectly. Um, one, the icons for things you change uh, seem to be working. A um, little sensitive, but seem to be working as explained. So that's awesome, uh, including uh, Amazon Auto. Now, CarPlay was supposed to be changeable. Is that true? No, not seemingly. All right, so CarPlay is not yet changeable. I want to say he might have told me that. Let's see, we're supposed to be able to do customized at this point. I thought I was going to add my car. can't remember which one. Ah, yes. So I can add. Perfect. So I can add that. So that's going to be great. So yeah, that looks like we've got a couple of these things handled already. Um, I don't think he was going to fix. No, we're still exactly seven off on the Fahrenheit temperature scale, but I'm pretty sure. But the screen, these are changing to the right icons and everything so that's great very happy about that now here's the question will it keep my time it is 745 according to this so let's switch this and go to network time and 
see if it actually keeps it now. I did update to 745 instead of 743. That's a good sign. Now let's reboot the sucker and see what we get. All right, 746. Again, that's just coming up because that USB is in there. 746. Actually, let's take the USB out for a sec. So I won't get that anymore. Um, and just for shits and giggles. Now the unit will still be slower to on, but in my experience, this still caused it to have the wrong time. So let's see what we get now. All right. It's powering back up fully. This could be an issue. Three, oh, no, it got it. Perfect. Excellent. So it did get it all by itself, which will mean that a lot of other things will work just fine. All right. Awesome. Well, I'm thrilled about that. Don't know. I don't think you did anything with the DVR stuff. Yeah. All right. So that's how you update it. Then this is the latest and greatest as of. Uh, the 13th um, of December so uh, ideally uh, if you're having time problems it should fix it too and again it does let you get the right icons as you can see and it customizes the names which is handy um, but other than that I don't think this works yep voice command is still the Audi one which is I know something else he was working on all right great thanks everybody hope this is helpful